everyone. I'm delighted to be back with yet another interesting recipe from What's Cooking in Ivy's Kitchen. Now today's recipe is not only unique, simple, but it is super delicious to taste. So what am I making? I'm making a traditional chicken recipe from the kitchen of the Garo tribes. It is named Kappa. The ingredients include chicken around 1 kg which I have marinated already with half a teaspoon of ginger and half a teaspoon of garlic paste because you know I'm using a broiler chicken. Next ingredient includes onion slices from two and a half medium sized onions. Another one tablespoon of ginger paste and half a tablespoon of garlic paste. Chilies, the star ingredient here is green chilies. I'm using around 13 to 15 of green chilies. Now this depends on your taste. If you love pungent flavor, you can go for more chilies. Now if you cannot, so you can decrease the amount of chilies according to your taste. Salt and yet another unique uh, ingredient that is soda bicarbonate. Now, friends from uh, the people uh, from Northeast India, they use a lot of alkaline, uh, you know, dishes. Now, using carb. Now, carb is actually made from banana stem, which is, uh, you know, burned to ashes, and then the ashes are used. Now, it is known to have a lot of health benefits because it helps in neutralizing your stomach acid. So, car is a delicacy in the northeastern states. Mostly, car is used with vegetable and fish to make different dishes. But the Garo tribes use car with chicken. So, this is another unique recipe. So, let's start with the process. Now, what I'm going to now do is very simple. I'm going to grind the chilies, green chilies, remember we are using green chilies along with the ginger garlic paste. Now I have already made a paste, why I need to grind, right? Now why I pasted it first is because it is easy to give you the quantity, okay? So in goes the ginger garlic. So what we are going to do is, I'll just keep aside the mixer. Okay. Now I'll spray everything into the kitchen. Even from the leaf, will not waste. So this is a 
completely oil-free chicken recipe. So, is it is not healthy? So we'll gently keep on tossing the chicken pieces. Remember, since there is not a single drop of oil, you have to keep on stirring. So the chicken pieces have slowly started to change color. And while we are tossing the chicken, we will also heat the water because we need to add hot water to the chicken. So all the chicken pieces have changed color. And I'll add some salt at this point. I have already added salt for marination but I feel like it's going to be less. So I just add some more salt. Now because we need to stir the chicken pieces, I suggest you please be gentle so that we don't break the pieces. And the chicken has also started releasing water. So when the water dries up, we are going to add the next ingredient. So uh, the chicken pieces has reduced in size and the water release also has reduced. We will not use, uh, wait for all the water to be dry. So what we will do is we will use a, a half a teaspoon of soda bicarbonate. Now generally, traditionally, garam people they use the water the uh, you know the clear water that is obtained after soaking the uh, banana stem ash but since it is not easily available we'll use our very commonly available substitute that is soda bicarbonate so i'm adding half a teaspoon we'll add if it is uh, less it's still okay we don't want to be ex uh, in excess so now we're adding the soda bicarbonate after adding the soda bicarbonate, we'll quickly give a quick stir and you can see as soon as you add the soda bicarbonate, it will start to steam. See bubbles, it bubbles like this, okay? So now what we'll do is we will cover it for 5 minutes. So almost 5 minutes of covering is over. Now I will unlid it. A lovely flavor of green chilies and ginger. Let's come closer and have a look. I'll just taste to see if the ginger, oh sorry, if the soda bicarbonate that we've used is enough. Now please remember tasting. It's enough. Tasting your food while it is being cooked is one secret step towards the best dish. So now it's time to use water. Now soda bicarbonate also gives a you know lends the dish a slightly sweet taste. So one cup of warm water. Now, this dish is loaded with chilies. I hope you all know chilies are loaded with vitamin C. The key ingredient to boost our immune system at such distressful time. So we'll cover again. Remember, on scene on these. The chicken is absolutely ready and it's filled with the flavorful smell of green cheese. So what I'm going to do is I will switch up the gas and I'll start the painting.
remember girls vitamin C is good for the eyes and the skin and the hair so lots of chilies ok now I am going to garnish uh, garnish also I will keep it very simple I have just garnished with chopped green chilli and then I will put a red chilli on top The last and the best part, which I always love and relish, I get a chance to taste the chicken that I have prepared, kappa. Now I have already taken with rice, dal and uh, the kappa. You can also add salads, you know other items, not an issue. But remember, kappa is served with steamed rice. Now you, uh, regarding the consistency of kappa, it can be according to your taste. If you want it slightly gravy, you can use keep it like that. But they, uh, the garu generally have it slightly dry. So I have used my hands because not as people we have a rice with our hands. They say the five fingers represent the five taste buds, and this helps in the digestion process. So here goes. to express do try this recipe it's a must 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 try remember zero oil kappa so friends yet another healthy traditional recipe comes to an end i hope you like the video do not forget to shower your love on my cooking channel what's cooking in iris kitchen please share until another one stay safe happy cooking and bye